In this video, we're going to go over the configuration process of your Node-Press.js platform. As we have looked at it in the previous video where we have a folder called demo and within this folder we have extracted all the files from our zip file and dumped them in the demo folder. And then before we go any further, it would be helpful and ideal to have your uh, in your system node mon npm package installed as that will help your system to be stable and run efficiently at as it needs to be so in order for you to install the npm node mon package all you do is navigate down to your folder where you have it so if you're using windows you could just click on the address bar and delete it and then type in cmd this will open up your prompt command and then from there you will type in npm i node mon so it will be npm i node n o d e m o n and then you hit enter this will install the package but i already have it installed so i'm not gonna to do, do it but it's really simple you hit the enter key it will do all things that it needs to do when to install the package so let's move on so now we're going to go through our configuration process so i'm going to type in open up the command prompt again and assuming now that you already have the nodemon uh, package installed so in order for you to run that all you do is type in nodemon and then type in app you do not need to type in .js as node.js assume that is going to be extension js so after you have typed that in click hit enter and once you have hit enter you will see this particular text and by default node press js is running on port 80 if you need to change it to run it on a different port we will go through it on another video so now that we have our node.js server running i'm going to open up my browser here and then just go to localhost as i am running this on my localhost uh, PC so just go to localhost and they will take you to this screen and from here it is a very simple and easy step-by-step uh, -step screen where you can type in some basic information to have your site up and running so I'm gonna type all this stuff in and I'll be back all right so I have typed all the information that I need for my site so in here the site title could be anything you want to name it think of it this is going to be when google search comes up is going to be whatever the title that you want it to show up for your meta tag this will be you can put that in here however you can put whatever you want now you can later on change it as you want to and then whatever user id you would like to pick and then password put it in twice and email address whatever email you would like to pick and then last but not least your mongodb url if you are running it on your local pc just leave that way the way it is and everything will be great and working perfectly however if you have your mongodb in another uh, location such as aws server or haruku or somewhere else you can type in this url here and also if you want to just change the database name to something else just change the last part of the database url string to something other than what is highlighted which is nodepress you can type in my awesome site or my project or whatever you desire just type it right here but for the sake of this training video i'm going to leave it with nodepress and then you, all you do is Click on install NodePress and then within a few seconds you're done. In order for you to log in, you click on the login button and then there you have it. And there is going to be your admin screen. 
And then before we go log into our admin scene, screen, let's look at what our current site looks like by default. So this is our main site. And now if you want to log into your admin screen, you would just have to use site name forward slash NP dash admin and then hit enter. And this will take you back to your admin screen. And it is that simple. In the next video, we're going to look at our admin screen section of this video series.